fundamentally appreciative inquiry, it's people describe it as the search through questions uh, for the best of the past, the best of the present, and the best of the future. And so what that really means is, as if you think about how a most of us as leaders and, and really as people, how we traditionally operate is we, we tend to focus on and even obsess about everything that is like wrong, broken, or missing, right? So, you know, we look at where the standard of where things we, we want things to be, and we look at all of the negative, say, deviations from that standard. And fixing those problems is absolutely a way to get better. But appreciative inquiry takes a completely different lens on how to move a team forward. So instead of instead of always focusing on what's wrong, appreciative inquiry posits that when you focus on what is working, like what is right and what is working well, both like when things have worked well in the past, the things that are working well right now, there is an incredible amount of gold you can mine from those experiences to build on the future that you most want. So if you think about the two words, it's appreciative, which is not is, is much more than just walking around telling people what you appreciate about them. It's the idea that what we appreciate appreciates. Or another way of saying that is what we focus on, we find and we get more of.